Uh, Coach, uh, nice win today. Uh, team started a little bit slow. First half was slow for both teams. Second half, it really seemed to come together nicely. Yeah, we're still we're still a, a you know work in progress on especially on the offensive end of the floor. I thought defensively we battled. We were a little undisciplined in the first half with our fouls, but offensively, the, you know probably the first half, the, both halves against Lafayette, we've been a little bit disjointed. So we just got to keep working and trying to chip away. But it's good to win while you're learning those lessons. Okay, uh, your freshman came alive also in the second half. Uh, Ryan was he was pretty good in the first half, but uh, uh, Josh came. Uh, better and who's the third freshman is the third one who plays a lot. Dylan Blair, Blair. Kendall Haley, yeah. Right. Okay, so they came alive in the second half. I think Ryan, who I want to talk to, um, uh, had a key three-pointer and then a, a two-pointer and a couple of foul shots. Talk about the freshmen in general. They seem to be... They're an excellent the bunch. I mean, you know, they're all competitive. They, they love each other. They love the game. Um, you know, they're, they're the kind of guys you want to have in the locker room. They are super competitive. They're warriors. They're winners. Um, so, you know, like, for example, today, Josh had a tough first half. I think he was 0 for whatever. And, I mean, he's had I mean, he's had a 31-point game, a 25-point game. It wasn't clicking. He just kept attacking. He stayed with it. And, obviously, in the second half, he made some really big plays for us. Talk about Ryan a little bit. Uh, he, he's all over the place. I watched him quite, quite a bit. Turns out he's the nephew of a guy I went to high school with. <laughs> so. Well, when you look in the dictionary under scrappy New Jersey guard, Ryan Curry is probably the picture that comes up. And, I mean, you know. I mean, he just, I mean, he just is tenacious. He battles. Uh, trust me, there's going to be some film review and there's some things we can clean up. But that being said, even when he's making mistakes, he is fighting his butt off all the time. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, for a place like this, the metaphor, but uh, he can be in my foxhole any day. Okay. TJ had a good game, good game today also. Talk about him. Yeah, you know, TJ had early foul trouble, you know, and, and, and honestly, some of it was self-inflicted. We'll have to go back to the drawing board on some of that. But if you look, I think five out of the last six games, TJ's been pretty, he's really been coming on. So I'm really pleased um, he had a, you know, his, his preseason was a little bit tough. Probably not what he wanted, not what I wanted, but that's a great life lesson. It doesn't always click right away and you got to keep chopping wood and you got to keep working. And, you know, he's earned the right to play the way that he has. Okay. Final question for me is, uh, you're one and one now in the Patriot League, I believe. Uh, a tough loss to Lafayette now, a uh, nice win against Holy Cross. What did you learn from this, and what do you see going forward? Well, no, you know, the, the comment to the guys when I got in the locker room is this. You know, we thought we won it against LeMoyne maybe about five, six weeks ago. It was our first conference or first non-conference win at home, Division One, And I was like, compare how that game went to this one. And that game was just so much more, didn't have the intensity, play after play. That is, and that's, that's what conference play is. So the, the, the focus, the energy, how locked in you have to be, possession to possession, I think that was the lesson today. You know, yeah, we made some mistakes, but we kept battling, and that's what got us to the win. But that was a hard-earned win. I mean, give Holy Cross credit. They made us fight for every single inch. Okay, thank you. Thanks.